Hey guys, what's going on? It's Pied Sam. We are here to show you how to build a couple of doors and one TNT cannon. So let's start off with this one. This one gonna be pretty flush. Um, you know, maybe if you did this, that, that, that. And, you know. Kinda looks kinda flush. Um, if your whole style, if your whole world was made, world was made like this, it'd be pretty flush. And you know, so how it works is you reach down here, you hit this button, and it opens up. And there's no pistons that you can see, other than the ones on the sides of the walls. When you go, it's like this. The amazing, my favorite part about this wall door is it's like four by four, two by two. And, um, you know, there's no pistons blocking your way getting through. Next one. So for this one, it's pretty easy. Um, I set a combo. Nope. 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 Maybe. Yep, and that's a combination. I'm sorry. Sort of knew it already, so I didn't have to do that. Um, but could be a little more flush, could be a little more hidden. My favorite one. Uh, you're in here. Don't know what the combo is. Maybe. No. 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 Um, but I have this combination. 82. Nothing happens. There we go. So, now I think it's not quite it. We gotta go here. Oh, that's nice. Blows up. Decent amount of stuff. TNT goes flying everywhere. Let's do one more. So, it does some pretty good damage. Next up, we have the combo door, which we already showed. So now it's time for the explanations. So for this one, uh, we're going to do the Jeb door first, or, you know, that one. So we're going to build this structure kind of thing. Right there. Move two over. Place another pistons. Right here. Place two. You can break these blocks. Um, you're gonna want to take some red, some blocks over top of here, and put them right here, right here. Place redstone only above the arch. Um. Next, you're gonna want to get a redstone repeater. Do one tick, one tick. And more redstone. And that's all you gotta do. Next, you just gotta wire it up. And I'm just gonna use the button. So the button won't pit, current won't last for, for long. So, you know, it'll go back in. But So that's the basis of this. Basis of this. Now, this one, I don't... This one, it's kind of hard to build, so I'm just gonna explain how it works. You flip this lever. Redstone comes out of it. Um... It inverts the scorch so it stays off and all the pistons come up. Unflick it, it uninverts the scorch um, and pushes all these down. Um, now, what we're going to want to do is you're going to, we can do this the lever thing as many times as you want. You're going to have um, a redstone repeater coming out of it in the exact direction that it came in. So then you want to have that branch off and have have one of them you, you, and then do the same thing over here. But you, you got to make sure this redstone isn't connected. So what I recommend doing is what I did here, sort of like a pyramid kind of thing. Um, so it's one, three, five, three, one. One, three, four, three, one. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna want to invert some of them and uninvert the others. 
and the ones that are inverted like this one is not so this one's gonna be on on off off on and that's how this works on on off off on and there we go for this one this one's pretty simple I, I will build it um put that 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 um you put dispenser 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 one plus two blocks not a third block here one two three four there are three sorry then you only want to get the fence post if you see that down there um by the way i have the fence post there because it adds a little bit of extra height to the chanty cannon so that when it um goes off you know it doesn't just kind of go straight it kind of does anyways but i mean it's better than having it go like and blowing up your cannon place that there add tnt three four five six and then add some tnt in here i recommend getting some extra tnt because i mean i'm going to place in two stacks and both because this thing runs out of tnt like crazy um oops uh, that was an accident um Two TNT, two TNT, and two TNT. Next, we're gonna put a lever right here. Shift click lever. Um, shift click button. Uh, button. And I did this here because it would not go to the other one. So you're gonna have to. like this you're gonna want to put this here and six tanty I'll prove to you that works by doing 63 63 63, 63, 63, 63. So, we know that works. Now, let's go for the real test. The TNT also floats down. Yeah, this is one explosion. The thing, also, another thing that I like about this can is look, the TNT actually slides down. So, um, that's also the reason why you have the price plate in the fence there. So let's do one more demonstration. Actually, I have an idea that I've never tried this before. Um, it may or may not work. There we go. Okay. Now what you want to gonna do? Oh no, this could be bad. Well, that did not go so well. And my redstone over here is broken. Well then. Alright, so, I guess you'll kind of get to see me rebuilding this in the process. Um, so you're going to put this here, because that aim makes the signal longer. Um, door is going to be closed, because the... Uh, there's an inversion. 
um, that is going to happen. Eight two. So what happens is this will fire when that goes off. Um. Okay. Um. It broke more than I thought. Um. So you're gonna want to do this. So you have a um. Um. You have a um, hopper going into the um, comparator, and then it, it'll automatically go down in this one, and you're gonna put a redstone torch right here. Um, and so that what ha what'll happen is um, I took this signal from right here. So, let's see what... It's not inverted. So, we're gonna have to take this inversion off. Alright, perfect. It's all fixed. Should be. There we go. Hmm. I don't know what could be going wrong. Make it close. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll be right back. And we're back. So, um, still trying to figure out why this does not work. Okay. So, um, hmm. I don't know. We need to. Okay, uh, maybe that's why. Okay, so I figured out the problem. Now... This should work. Alright. Okay, I get one. I get it. 
Alright, this makes sense. Now we invert it right here. And there we go. One, two, three, four. It's odd. There we go. So that's how that one works. And I guess that's all for this video today, guys. Um, explain how all the traps work and everything. So I will see you guys all later. Take care.